morning and welcome to MS4 and today we're doing a full face of one size cosmetics and we're also talking about enlightened self-interest and why having a makeup world where there's a lot of inclusivity uh, is a great thing for me because in the end it's all about me and you whoever you are anyway so we're gonna get started this morning I've showered and I did put my hair up uh, that way you're not screaming at the phone for, you know, me to get my hair out of my face. Not that you would scream. You're very polite. You'd never do that. Um, but anyway, so we're ready to do a full face. Um, I've showered, breakfasted, I have my tea, um, and we're going to get started. So I've been really excited about this brand uh, for a number of reasons. And I think when you see this makeup look, you'll understand just the very basic reason. This is really fun, great makeup. So let me take off my spectacles. Yes. And here we go. So we're gonna start out with the blurring primer. Um, now this stuff is like a gel cream, more on the cream than the gel side, um, but it, doesn't have a ton of slip to it. Um, it has some, but it's not like a, a deeply silicone primer. It's more like a jelly cream. Uh, so when you put it on, it'll spread nicely, but it's not like it's going to be slipping all over your face where you have like a tiny thimble full and it could coat your whole body. Um, but it's really nice. Um, and it does, in fact, blur. A lot of these products do exactly what they say they're going to do. They blur, they cover, they flatter. So this is going on really nicely. This is gonna dry down to just a powder, kind of a, a moist, sorry for the word moist, um, a powdery finish. I'm just getting worked in to all these lovely pores that I've got in my T-zone. So it'll start to feel just powdery at this point in time. Okay, there's your blur. Um, now I have the Butter Silk Concealer. Now I generally don't wear concealer. Um, this is something that's fairly new for me. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me have some of my tea. <clears throat> it's still early morning. <clears throat> What I found a lot of times is that um, the concealer ends up really accentuating. I have a whole bunch of not so fine lines in my under eye area, and my under eye area tends to be fairly dry. So a lot of the concealers, if they're gonna do any good, just, you know, to cover things, just really accentuate that. And so it just ends up making me look older in the long run, so I generally don't use it. Um, but this, um, I found, I even did a full face of this just to really test it out, and I was actually shocked at how light it felt, but how deep of the coverage it was, um, and how emollient it was. So I'm going to put a little bit on my finger. I'm not going to directly apply it to my face. <clears throat> I'm going to do this on my ring finger and work it in, get it warm a little bit. And I'm going to be focusing on this part, because right now this is right here, especially this eye is really where my darkness is at. So I'm gonna do that. So I've got it between my ring fingers and I'm just gonna tap it in. And just be very gentle. And I'm gonna stop right about here, right about the, the mid pupil point. It's very creamy, very emollient. Uh, it has a lot of good coverage and it's buildable. Um, and you can do this with a brush. I just I appreciate being able to tap it in because it tends to to lay down better for me in my eye situation. If I can just tap it in. <clears throat> okay. It does spread really nicely, but the when I tap it tends to to push it in and lay it down and have a more even situation. And if I have any left I can put it down here on my little friend just to get a little more coverage. Now today we're going to use the uh, Triple B, the Beauty, Bur Beauty Blurring Balm. That's why I generally say Triple B. Um, this is really nice, has a lot of good coverage, um, but doesn't look too cakey. And it feels more of like a moussey 
juicy substance. Now, while I apply this, I'm going to talk about that enlightened self-interest that I was telling you about. So enlightened self-interest is when you realize that there can be a win-win uh, situation that some other people doing well with things is actually, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, this is what happens when I shoot too early in the morning. I haven't quite, my vocal cords haven't quite woken up yet. Um, you're wanting something and the, the win for everybody uh, <clears throat> makes it where it's in your best interest to help other people succeed because even from a very selfish perspective, you're not being selfless where you're like, I want people to succeed because it's just a better world. That's great. And we really would like for that to be the case. But sometimes you want other people to succeed so you can have better things in life. So Patrick Starr is the creator of One Size and he's a man who wears makeup, does some lovely looks, very lovely individual but his creating this line had some side effects that I, as a, you know, middle-aged white woman, really appreciate. So a lot of times we talk about inclusivity, you know, and we try and act like it's something that, that it's for that group's benefit. And it is, but it's also really, in the best case scenario, good for everyone. Um, so take for instance Fenty when Fenty ended up launching 40 shades of foundation. Now there were other companies that had done that before but they had kind of expanded their shade range quietly and over time and hers was a launch all at once of 40 shades um, and that kind of set a bar for other companies to say hey not only do we need a large shade range but we also need a good number of shades in the darker category um, to be inclusive. And the things that help <clears throat> with us <clears throat> is that even very pale people with 40 shades with more color variation have benefited from that, uh, that larger shade range. Um, so this is the On Till Dawn. Uh, this is like spraying hairspray on your face, but this is something that we're gonna use after we get all of our products done because we do have some cream uh, coming up. Um, I do have also the powder, and this is the powder foundation, um, and it opens like this. This is the powder foundation. And I find I get a really good look with just the powder foundation on. Um, as well if I don't want to use the the cream, the blurring balm. Um, so now the idea of having a greater shade range is also good for everybody. Um, it makes brands more accountable to people of color um, and it also is helpful for people to have a better shade range from the very pale to the very dark. Um, so next we're gonna go in with the bronzer. Um, this has a overall warming color, a bronzing color, and a contour color. Now, most all of us wish this was set up with like the blush that had a cream and then a, a bronzing or contouring and then a shimmering. That would have been really nice because that the cream, when we get to the blush, you'll see it. The cream formula is fabulous. Um, but in this case, we're gonna take a fluffy brush. Um, I'm using a blush brush from It Cosmetics because this is very pigmented. And so I want to make sure that I'm going in lightly and doing my best just to be gentle with it. Um, so here I'm just gonna go into the, the center shade, the bronzing shade, and I'm gonna apply very lightly. Now, the Enlightened Self-Interest with Patrick Starr's brand, all of his packaging he designed for people who have long nails. Now, that's great for people who have long nails, but also for people who have hand issues, 
all of the packaging has these closures that are really easy because they're, and you see, okay, they're a magnetic clasp, but because the closures are large and they're also in opposition to each other, they're very easy to open. So if you have hand issues, these are great to be able to open. Also, they're larger compacts, they have larger mirrors, and they're generally all in either a fire engine red or a pink with red lettering. And the compacts are of a certain size. They're easy to hold if you have hand issues. And also, it's very easy, even if the fire engine red is not my favorite aesthetic, um, they're very easy to spot in my collection. If I have eye issues at all going on, I can see exactly which makeup is my one size. It's very easy to see. Okay. There our bronzer goes on. So if you have any visual impairments, easy to see, large enough to hold and not to drop. Um, the bright red compacts do have fingerprints, unfortunately, but this opposing and magnetic closure makes these so easy to pick up and open. Um, and so that right there, ha had Patrick Starr not been in the world and formulating makeup and packaging, choosing the pack packaging of makeup and not been making packaging that can be opened by people with nails, this never would ben benefit me as a person who may have hand issues. Um, and so I would have never known. So that's the thing about inclusivity. That's just one small portion of inclusivity is you've got a creator who has different personality, different needs, um, different desires in the world and they're making things that can benefit all sorts of people that you might never think about when you think about benefiting another population that's not you. All right, so next we're gonna go in for blush. Uh, this is very that, is the, the shade. Again, we've got the cream, we've got a matte blush, and then either a sparkly blush topper or a highlighter, depending on your skin tone. Um, and it does have a little cover that covers the cream. Uh, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to tap the cream on first and then use a brush to apply the other colors. Uh, so I'm going in the cream. Now this cream is a little bit, a little bit thicker. It still can slide, but it's a little bit thicker. And the nice thing about it is it dries almost immediately to a powder. Okay, so you can smooth it on, goes over, it'll go over powder too with no problem at all. Like if I had just done the the one size powder foundation, um, it would just slide over that too, very nicely. Okay. So I'm gonna put that as a base. Just using my ring finger again to apply this. So when I think about all the reasons to have many different people creating a space and having access to it, I think about the great variation of personality, desires, and needs, and the fact that if people of different types are creating, you're going to get a huge flower garden of beautifulness. I know that sounds really cheesy. Um, going in again, uh, let me tap off the, the brush from the bronzer, going into the middle shade. The other thing, besides this packaging being really good for people who have uh, disabilities, who have hand issues or eye issues, um, these products are extremely pigmented. So even people with, with deeper skin tones, if you wanted to get a color payoff from some of the lighter ones, 
you could still do that. Um, and the, the pigmented nature of the bronzer, you just have to know it going into it that you have to apply it either lightly or with a different brush, you know, or just go into it cautiously until you get to know it. Once you get to know your product, you know how it behaves, then you can do however it works best for you. Now I'm gonna go into that sparkly blush and I'm just gonna use it like a blush topper. Okay, and I'm gonna be using, uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of palettes from one size and then we're gonna to do a color but I want to have a little bit of that same blush color. So I'm gonna go in the center shade, the matte shade. I wanna have it on my eyes. So I'm gonna go there. I'm just putting this on the outside. Okay, so there's that. Um, so the fact that this, this brand is both pigmented and is incredibly easy to open, incredibly easy to, to see, to recognize, um, is really fantastic. Um, so then we're gonna look at some of the options for eye colors. Now, right now, still on the, the One Size website, you can get this duo, this was for holiday. Um, they had quads and then a liquid liner and it's on sale right now, um, as well as the larger package that I'm gonna, the pack palette that I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, but this is a smaller version, has a mirror. And then these shades, the, the thing with Patrick Starr's eyeshadow is right now a lot of them look very basic, uh, the color stories. So a lot of people didn't pick up the large palette because they felt like it was just kind of a basic B and they weren't all that excited but the quality is there. These feel a little drier, but they perform really, really nicely. Um, this is the uh, Golden Cocoa from Holiday, and let me swatch that for you. Um, now, they make very pretty looks, and again, I love this, this smaller packaging, and I'm hoping that there's gonna be more, uh, more products like this coming out. because it really is pretty fabulous. Um, and again, I, I really do like the packaging. Okay, so this is the Golden Cocoa. Let's see if you can, there's not as much light in here this morning. But it's a very pretty, pretty eyeshadow. Um, and I'm going to be cleaning off with one of the, the one size cleaning cloths, the makeup removers that are huge. Another bonus of having somebody who has a different perspective. These cleansing cloths, they have a little bit of a scent to them. Uh, they leave behind a little bit of uh, moisturization, um, but they're really big and they do a great job removing makeup. <laughs> um, so, you know, bonus all the way around, but that whole like not having a, a two inch square makeup remover is really nice sometimes. Okay, so before we get into our, our eye look, I'm gonna show you the palette. I'm gonna spray my face with the On Till Dawn uh, makeup setter. But this is the, the palette, okay? And a lot of people thought that it was unintentional that they'd made the, the edges uh, varied but in this case it's the same like if you had large nails you could just pop it open um, and by having the magnetic closure with the opposing edges really easy to open now this is the color story and at first I wasn't all that excited about it but then when I started, when I'm like, okay, I'm gonna trust, I love these face products that I've found. I'm gonna trust that the eye products are made with the same kind of interest and care as the face products. And started working with the palette. They're all very workable for natural, neutral sorts of looks. Um, but you can also make some really exciting looks with it. There's 
uh, a shimmery silvery blue there's a bright pop of blue um, but the greens in here are actually really really nice so that's actually where I'm going to focus my attention is the greens and golds um, and I think that you'll you'll see when I'm going into it you can get really pretty color reads off of it and this is this palette is half off um, on the one size website um, but also I believe on Sephora it's still it's still half off it's 21. So what I want to do is go into soft serve for my crease shade. Now I already put some of the blush from the Very That palette, but I'm going to go in with soft serve. This is soft serve right here. This is more of a taupey, a warm taupey color. And I'm using a fluffy, fluffy brush from Bare Minerals. Um, I tend to have smaller eye areas, so I like smaller brushes. So sometimes for me, uh, the travel size brushes that come out um, actually work really nicely for a regular brush for me. Okay, going back in a little bit on this side with soft serve. Okay, and then um, going in, this is a Firma 202. Uh, I'm going into the shade Matcha. Um, and this is, as it says, a, a green, a muted green, but it's, it goes on deeper than it looks in the pan. So, so this is matcha, um, and it applies pretty deeply on the eye. So I'm going to go into my corner and brush it up towards where my eyebrow is, and then I'm going to take it underneath my eye because we're going to use our liquid liner to do a, a, an upper wing today but I do want to leave some some definition on the bottom line so again in with the matcha and they're very pigmented colors again with the the refrain for this line super pigmented and very easy to work with and blend Okay, and then I'm going to go under, under the eye. Okay, and then we're going into all of it. Like, I love it, but all of it, get it? Also loving the puns. So I'm going to apply that with my finger. Okay, so it's a gold olive. And again, I can make this a very light look or I can really glam it up. So it has a lot of versatility. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go in really quickly with the, this is Vanilla Sands and I'm gonna go in the corner with that. And above the brow bone. Okay, now we are ready for our setting spray. Um, so this is the travel size of the On Till Dawn. Um, this you're you're going to want to shake and then spray, and you spray fairly closely to your face and it'll feel just a little cooling kind of a mist. Um, it's more like uh, like the feeling of hairspray, but not really hairspray. So let me do this. I'm gonna make sure all of my eyes and mouth are closed. Now there is a fragrance to this, but it's not bad and it does dissipate. Um, it reminds me a little bit of the fragrance of like the Dior Backstage, but way toned down and it, it dissipates almost immediately unlike the Dior Backstage Foundation. Um, so with the 
dry for just a second. It doesn't take too long and that really will set down your makeup. Uh, he does have a, a spray that's more dewy. Um, I do not do the dewy, so uh, I appreciate something that's mattifying. Um, all right, so we're going to go in with the, this is the liquid eye pencil. Um, he does have the uh, a black and a brown in a just a regular pencil um, and also with this but what I'm looking forward to is to see what he does for more liners and in the end the big one is going to be lips because there are no lips for the line yet. And I'm, I'm hoping that for holiday, maybe we'll have something coming out. Um, but I'm gonna show you how I can still use one size to get the lip look. Uh, so we're going in with this and I'm just gonna do a light wing on the top. So I'm just placing, I just tap along my lash line. And then I can just stamp and do a light upward motion so it's not this whole trying to keep a smooth line especially if you have hand issues that's that just doesn't really work all the time so it's easier to do a light stamping and then stamp and do a little flick so again on this side keeping it really close to the lash line tapping and then hold down and flick okay and you can go back and work with that um, so now we're ready for mascara. Now the fantasize mascara, um, I'm very picky about my mascara as I've told you before. Uh, the thing about this, I got the cute little travel size. Um, what this does is the liner is pretty much waterproof. Even though it's not sold as such this is pretty much waterproof and it really you will need to take it off with a biphase with an oil uh oil water combo like the bifacil uh because it just stays on forever now this mascara is not for everybody uh, i generally prefer volumizing mascara this mascara is amazing at lengthening and separating so you're going to have that kind of a look rather than a volumized look and just so you know what you're getting in for if you're looking for the very voluminous eye look you're not going to get this from that but you're going to get very separated very black very lengthened and it's going to be on forever so let me show you Okay, and I could go in with other coats, but it doesn't end up thickening, thickening it up very much where it's more of the volume. It just keeps that whole lengthening uh, sort of an idea. Uh, okay, so there's that part of her look. And then I'm gonna show you using my blush trio how to get a lip look for this. Um, and my blush is pretty, pretty dark right now. I could use the one size powder and tap that down, um, but I just wanted to, to show you how the color read looked. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, and Patrick, if you're listening, I'm so excited for whatever you formulate for lip products, so excited. Um, I'm gonna go into the top to the cream, and I'm gonna use that. Now this feels emollient, but it also feels like a dry emollients because like I said, it does go down to a powder almost immediately. So this will give me the kind of 
soft monochromatic look uh, and we can just stay there what we can also do is when we get this on go into the sparkly shade the bottom one take your ring finger again and just dot it Just dot it into the center and you can use any lip liner but this way if you didn't want to bring in any other uh, any other makeup line to the look you could just do this and you're you're done uh, like I said if I wanted to bring my my cheek color down a little bit I would just need to tap in this is the one size powder and I could just Soften that and bring it down just a little bit. Okay, so there you go. Um, one size. And hope you guys enjoyed seeing how this applied, seeing how you can get a very good color payoff, very uh, easy to put together but you could also amp it up if you wanted to for evening um, and just a little bit of discussion about enlightened self-interest and why uh, a fabulous man that has long nails developing a makeup line is really good for lots of other people so anyway hope you guys have a great day and uh, next time I believe we're doing a little bit of Fenty so hang in there have a good day and we'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.